This is a song for all the rivet heads. This is a song to make you. Hey guys, Rivet Ed here. Welcome back to Satisfactory. Uh, if you've been around my channel at all, you know that I've played a fair number of hours of this game. Uh, I've been waiting for the 1.0 uh, version to get released. Uh, it has been done. I just got it. I just got released the other day, uh, so I of course got it downloaded and got set up again. Um, so what I'm going to be doing here over the course of the next, ever, I'm going to play. I've been wanting to get done the game, you know, finalize it, finish it. Separation um, from main transport. You know, transport I've, I've gotten complete. to the end point a number Group of times where the game was region. stopped. So let's see how it goes. Initiating dispersion. I'm, I'm very intrigued to see how well this goes. Attention, pioneer. And we're starting right from the beginning. I am Ada, your personal instance of the artificial director. Because apparently there's assistant. a story now. Welcome to the Fixit Incorporated Save the Day program. A Fixit pioneer has three core assignments. Construct. All pioneers must follow Fixit guidelines and instructions when constructing mm -hmm. any building. Automate. Every pioneer is responsible for setting up and managing efficient pipelines, outposts, and power infrastructure. Explore and exploit. Fix it selected planets are rich like with the explore resources. Part. Not so sure about the exploit. Or further investigation. Stay within your designated. And that is why the world is counting ah, on pioneers new. like you. Fix it. Short-term solutions to long-term problems. Okay. Initiating planet fall. Who thought that this Atmosphere looked like a face? Entry in three, the two, down arrows are the eyeballs, one. big nose in the middle, and the pull is the mouth. Arrow assist. The big ears on the side. Drag within acceptable parameters. Descent phase begun. Decelerating. Deploying parachute. Skipping parachute. <laughs> Landing phase begun. Activating retro. Good. Back up, back up, back up ones. Touchdown. Planet fall complete. Drop pod integrity nominal. Only okay. situational exploration suit nominal. Pioneer. Acceptable. Now, if this is the first time you've ever seen or heard Satisfactory, this is one of those survival build games. Like, it's like Factorio, except in, like, real 3D. Congratulations. Um, I really love the you game. You are the third in your region to survive Planetfall. Hey, Welcome look at me. Welcome to Massage 2, A, B, B, in the binary system of Akicha. Loading objective based introduction. Begin onboarding. This looks pretty interesting. First contact safety tool supplied due to presence of alien megafauna. Adhere to fix it procedure and equip the fix it ink Xeno Zapper before leaving the drop zone. Okay, the Xeno Zapper. Next objective dismantle the drop pod. Fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. The drop pod will be recycled to construct the first stage of the habitat and utility base, often referred to as the hub. Okay. Iron ore. Next objective. Use the resource scanner to find and collect additional iron to be able to build the hub. If you cannot find iron, be assured Where scans of the planet have revealed sufficient iron sources. I know how important these things can be. Okay, I'm hearing that. Potential edible collected. Eating it and surviving does not count as a valid field test and does not generate enough data for fix it to make an informed decision. Store this potential resource for later use. 
Potential edible collected. If consumed before There's authorized is compatible with the human digestive system by Fixit, the consumer is responsible for any and all consequences. Store this potential resource for later use. Okay, can I set up a waypoint or anything? Nope. I will just keep you on. I will be able to figure this out. Refining iron. Yeah, so anyway, this is like a factorial game. It's like a factory builder thing. You land on a planet. It's your job to basically suck it dry. Samples of new alien species acquired. Notable features are blunt teeth, suggesting it is herbivorous, and a thickly plated skull and spine, suggesting it interrupting previous message for higher priority message. Ah, interesting. Next objective. Use the build gun to construct the hub. Iron is a base component necessary for all near future progress, so ensure you build the hub close to iron sources. Fix it does not pay by the kilometer. Uh, which way do I want to get this here? I think. Hub foundation built. The hub terminal and crafting bench are only the humble beginnings of a successful Fixit pioneer, but essential for the next steps of onboarding. Once finished, the hub will function as your base of operations. Next objective, complete hub upgrade one. Okay, what do I need for a hub upgrade? Um, hub terminal, there we go. I need iron rods, okay. So my understanding is I have to craft this in order to get the rods. Eventually this will be something that I don't have to manually do. But hey, it's our first upgrade, this is very exciting. We got an upgrade. Hub upgrade one, storage and frame completed. Equipment like the portable miner can now be made in the workshop. Congratulations okay. on completing your first milestone, the first of many providing access to new recipes and technologies for the fix it mission. Next objective, complete hub upgrade two. Upgrade two, okay. Let's see what this one does. I need 20 and then some iron plates, so. Um, can I get any of the... Let's check out our recipes here. That hasn't happened. Q? Crafting bench. I'm missing stuff. Okay. Pure iron, great. Got lots of this. I want to get probably 40, I think. Oh man, this impure iron is crap. But I'm also doing this manually, so that doesn't help matters either. Okay, so we need to make. 
Let's go back to the iron ingots. I've always enjoyed the uh, the grind in this game. Never has driven me nuts. I've always found it to be cathartic and fun and entertaining and I've never had an issue. Oh, I forgot that I could hold my space bar down. Okay. So we're getting there. I need 10 more of these. So we do this. Okay, and then I need 10 of these, I think. I'll do 20 just in case. Or whatever I get. Okay, let's do the upgrade too. Hub upgrade two, power and shell completed. The smelter can turn raw ore such as copper and iron into ingots, That's what I need. and the biomass burner generates power when fueled. That's Fun the fact, most of the native flora and fauna is compatible with Fixit technology. Fueling the biomass burner with inappropriate materials will result in deductions or even cancellation of your yearly bonus. Next objective, complete hub upgrade 3. Upgrade 3. Okay. I need copper, more iron. 20, 20, and 20. So let's do the copper. I should start grabbing this all as much as I can because it becomes very important very, very soon. You fucker. Okay, well, that was fun. I got a little bit of hurt. Um, is it? Ooh, okay. Forgot about that one. There we go. That's done. Uh, so, I, I'm glad that the hub is marked here. Yeah, I just love this game. It has matured very well, and it has been an absolute treat to play. So, if you're wondering, what is my intention with this game? Sean, what are you doing? Why? You know? Uh, and that is absolutely because of the fact that... Um, like I said, I wanted to complete it, but there's no way I'm going to record the whole thing. So today, first episode, just the derping. Introduction to Satisfactory. Get the first bits and pieces done, which is all fun. Fine and dandy, as they say. Copper ingots. Let's do that real quick. I wish we could build the... Uh, I wonder if we can build it yet. The uh, handheld unit that uh, allows us to god uh, to mine there's a portable miner you can get it's fairly quick in the game too okay so let's do smelter I need copper and okay power lines that's all things yeah so the smelter will be coming up um now, is this a more pure? Let's get another impure one. Is there more? Well, 
I will look at that later. Not too all fired worried about it. How many have I got here? Twelve. or not I thought that there, when I dismantled that thing I thought that I got stuff from it I may be incorrect did I pick up the thing that I after dismantled it I may not have I may have just assumed that I got it well that could be stupid Let's go back. This looks like salt, limestone, sorry. Neat. that thing. Grant doesn't want one of these. Probably the berries. I am not seeing a uh, where we dropped in at. But what I should say is I'm not seeing a uh, container on the ground. I think it was around here. Try this now. I'm out of there. I'm not ready for those fools yet. Well, I could be. Eventually I'll get up there too. So much stuff to do in this game, man. Because those slugs, you use those to power upgrades and stuff, memory serves. There's also these really weird device like spheres that we had no use for before, but apparently now they do. So a lot of the stuff that uh, we used to be like, I don't know what that was for, now has a purpose, so. Those guys have the weirdest laugh. Weird. That should be plenty. Okay, we were making iron. I need 20, 20, 20. That's my memory serving, right?
I don't think we're gonna have enough. So we have what? We have 10 plates, okay. Be 20. Iron rods in E20. And wire in E20. I'm just holding on to it for whatever. I'm not really too fussed. Okay. Upgrades. 2020. Yeah, I did that wrong. Use double click. Hub upgrade three, interior furnishing completed. The constructor can produce simple parts and power poles allow for the expansion of the power grid. When you make the inevitable mistake, fix its dismantling feature is designed to salvage all resources used during construction in line with our zero waste policy. We understand that Fixit pioneers are only human and thus prone to error. Next objective, complete hub upgrade four. Okay, we'll get that. We want for hub upgrade four. Oof. So 75, I, I really, when are we getting the, interesting, but I'm portable miner. We're supposed to have that already. Okay, uh, what does it need? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, iron plates and iron rods. Okay. I'm getting it. This is going to make life a lot easier. This is me being stupid. Um, I need 10 and 10, I think it was. Jeez Louise. As you can tell, there is a lot going on in the game. It's not overly complicated or like it doesn't get stupid. Um, it, you can easily get overwhelmed later on, um, but as long as you just attack it like, you know, logically, it's not a big deal. Like it's, it's fairly, like it's very an intuitive game. Um, here's the thing. I'm not really necessarily the hugest fan of this type of game. I I I, I can tell, I can count on my hands how many of the you know these types of games that I'll actually play, and I'll I'll pick them up and give them a shot. But this is one that I'm like, ooh, I'm looking forward to getting back into. So th this is a rare treat for me. So I'm excited to have this again. So, and I have started up a series on this so many times, like I can't even tell you. Again, there's a queue. Equipment workshop is six and four. I can't believe I didn't do this already. Like, it's stupid cheap to, to make as well. Let's do... Let's, I'm on a resource. I'm on a resource. Um, yeah, let's do it right here. 
Can you? Or does it? Oh. There we go. Portable miner. I need what? Iron plates and iron rods, okay. I need two miners, so. Okay. I'll get 20 of each or so. Whatever I can get. Okay. Let's do this. So let's go pro miner. This is going to be shit, but Okay, it's just going to start grinding. Perfect. So now that I've got that out of the way, it means that it will just, it just grinds. And I can just grab all the stuff that is there. And it'll, like, I don't have to go and mine anymore. That's what it basically boils down to. Makes me happy. Makes me very happy. But you still gotta do this for right now. Until I get the ability to craft it someplace else, I'm kind of stuck. Uh, my health is good. I'm doing good. Uh, double check. So we need, for the next upgrade, is 75 iron plates, 20 cables, and 20 concrete. So we need to get the limestone. So let's do one more of these if we can. Okay. There was some limestone over here. Again, happy that this shit's here. So what I do is grab the, the basics here. I hear Grumpy. You do you, buddy. Yeah, hey, grumpy. Oh, my phone's just blowing up tonight. It's funny, I've had... Uh, I, I, I've had a relaxing day. Hardly anybody messaging me or anything. It's been nice. And then all of a sudden in the evening, it's like, boom! But mind you, I, I, I live in Southeast Asia, so I live in, currently in Cambodia. So, um, my evenings our mornings back in the U.S. and Canada, so. It's a bit of a thing. Uh, I need to do one of these on copper. Yeah, let's let's just do this real quick. I'm sure I'm gonna, why am I having a hard time? I need to get a bunch more, ooh. Yeah, I need concrete, okay. I think I just create the concrete directly out of the limestone, too. I don't have to make ingots or anything out of it. I'm going to pause here, and we'll be returning shortly. Okay, so I'm back. I did a little bit of off-camera grind. Nothing major. 
Uh, so we are going to do... Can I do it from here? This is nice. I, I, I was hoping this would be a thing. So we did this upgrade. New Hub buildings. upgrade four. Landing platform and utilities okay. completed. Conveyor belts connect the output of one building to the input of another and transport resources. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Due to past incidents, I have been asked to issue a clarification. Portable miners, obviously, do not have a connection for conveyor belts. There is nothing to suggest, visually or functionally, that they can be connected to portable miners. If this is something you struggle with, do not worry. Fixit has alternative uses for all their pioneers. That's Next hilarious. objective, complete hub upgrade five. That is hilarious. So they're basically saying, listen, dumbass, we don't care what you think. You can't connect it. It's not the end of the fucking world. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to pause here, obviously, because it's kind of what I do. Uh, I also looked at, we, we have a, oh, wait, what? This is new for me. I, I, I want that trinket. My primary color, I can, oh God, dang. Oh my God. Secondary color. Overall color. Oh, we're, we're going, we're going for it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we can go darker. Okay, we got that one there. So let's get into the bright pinks. I like that. And then we're going to go for the darker blue. I love it. Oh. Yeah, I think that you only have the, the female character here, too. I like it. Okay, so that's the... Ooh, I like the world of... Oh! Nelly. The hell? Oh, that is awesome. I'm wearing that one, goddammit. Hell yeah. I, I, this is a, a, a bonus one given to you for supporting them during the early access. Hell yeah. I love that. Okay, there we go. I think that should be sufficient for our first episode. I'm like, like I said, I'm going to be doing a bunch of this. There'll be a lot of this off camera. So when you get back, I will have factories and all that started. And, and you know, some of the f more fun things we'll get to. I'll bring you guys back along. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a, uh, a weekly thing for me for the next while. Until I think that they said there's about 100 hours worth of gameplay in the game to complete everything now. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to, uh, to spending those 100 hours here. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Hope you don't mind the new series. And I will see you all very soon in our next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. This is a song for all the 